hey guys uh, right now i'm having this uh, next.js application so in our next.js application uh, we are having this hello world text and let me actually show you what it will render is um, our hello world text okay so let's say that after the hello world text uh, we wanna render a link here so link and i already imported this link here from the next link and inside this link i wanna have a text which is the click me and for our href I want to say it will be our about page so I already have about page here you can see so that's what I actually linked with so now if I come here in our website I can see our link and if I actually inspect the link you can see this is a encode tag where we are having the href about and inside that we have our click me text so if I click uh, if I actually click that it will take us to the about page as expected and if I come back here you can see so what is happening here is actually it is not using our uh, native anchor tag all it is using is uh, the event that we have here so this is a event that is added to this anchor tag so whenever we will click it will trigger the event and it will take us to the about page that we have so it is not using our regular anchor tag for that so that is fine and also we are having all the property that uh, regular anchor tag is expecting to have so like href so this is actually good for our seo so that is fine so now let's come here in our link here and let's say that i want to actually change the color of our link or any kind of a style so for that what we can do is we can directly add our style here so let's add a class name and i already have some classes here so classes dot link and if i do it we are now having our class name added to our link so now if i come here in our website but there is no style change so let's actually see what we are having so we are having our old anchor tag we are having href but there is no class name for the style so where is the class so the class is not added to the anchor tag because um, we cannot add our class name directly from here so for that what we need to do is we need to remove our class name from our link and after that we need to create an anchor tag and this anchor tag will not have any kind of href inside this anchor tag we can provide our class name that we wanna add and after that we will have our text inside the anchor tag so now what we have is we have a link where we are having our href and after that we are having an anchor tag where only we can add our class name or anything else you want to add and after that we are having our click me text and now if i open up you can see the text i mean the link is now having a new style and also if you notice here in the anchor tag we are having our class name we are having our href we are having our text and also we are having the event which means if i click that it will be handled by the next js so that is fine so we are having all of our anchor tag stuff means uh, we are having our href and the classes as well so that's it you can see that's how we can actually use that with our custom style so let's say that in another scenario if you want to use a custom component i will use a button so this is a third party uh, ui that i'm using so this is coming from maintain ui and i'm actually importing the button from the ui and inside the button all i need to do is i need to say the text so let's actually say click me and if i do that now here you can see we are having our click me and if i hover that i mean if i inspect that you can see this is the button so inside the button we have other stuff but uh, it is not what we are concerned right now so in the button uh, let's see what we are having so we are having our class name and also the type button and the data button true so these are button attribute that we have but if i actually click it is still taking us to the about page the reason behind that is actually it is having the event that you can see here so this button is having the event which is a click event from the next js so whenever i will click this it will uh, trigger the event and it will take us to the about page that is good it is still working but it is not having a proper html for the ui so this ui should be an anchor tag because this is navigating us from one page to another so let's actually fix it first of all so to fix it uh, you can actually say the component that you want to have so component will be anchor text so this is a specific to our uh, maintain ui how you can do that but uh, i am sure that whatever ui you are using there will be a way to change it 
so now if i come here first of all save that and if i come here in our website so now this button is not having a button tag instead of it is having anchor tag that is good but still we are missing something we are not having any kind of href here so still if i click that it is taking us to the about page that is good but it is not having any kind of anchor tag sorry i mean it is not having any kind of href so it is doing the job but it is not good for seo so to fix that what you can do is you can specifically say to our next js so here you can see our next link so you can specifically say that the child that we are having is it is anchor tag now you can actually pass the href to the anchor tag so to say that all we need to do is we need to say pass href and it will make sure that it will force next link to pass the href to the child element which is actually anchor tag so if i do that now come here you can see this is the anchor tag where we are having a href there will be a link that will appear here so if i hover that you can see the link that is uh, attached with this anchor tag will be rendered in this corner you can see here so which means uh, this anchor tag is now having all the property that is actually expected from a regular anchor tag and this is good for our seo so great so now it will work and we are having all the things that we want so that's all for this video i hope you guys liked it if you liked it give it a thumbs up and subscribe the channel to see more upcoming videos like this one and i will see you in the next video till then take care bye bye and kudahafis